Recon flyover. UAV. Oh. I missed you, baby. Yo, what is up guys, Metaphor here, and I am finally bringing you the video that I've been waiting to bring for so long. The Growl is back. It is back. It is It is literally such a fun gun to use right now. So, a lot of you guys might be thinking, oh, you know, the buffs didn't do that much, but you have to consider that other guns got nerfed. So, in general, let's say the Growl did not get moved at all. If other guns above it move down, then indirectly it moves up. And that's just how it is. So not only did it move up, but it also got a buff. And this gun feels like a dream to use. Honestly, my shot is not exactly where it used to be with the ground, and it's gonna take some time to get used to it, but I'm gonna be using this gun a lot. So hopefully you guys are ready for some good ground content. Uh, this gameplay is insane. I'm also using the Young Otis as well with some different attachments. I know I made a video on that yesterday, but if you guys do wanna see the new, new attachments that I'm running, I'm running this. I still do like my other build a lot, but you know, I'm just testing on the new attachments because I'm not always right so I'm testing out that and this is the setup that I'm running I'm running the OG gumball you already know dude this is my favorite this like the growl is my favorite gun in the game next to the car 98 I love the growl I love the m13 so yeah let me know what guns you guys want me to run in the near future a lot of stuff got shifted around so yeah leave the comments I'm always checking them out thank you guys so much for all the support lately uh I'm so sorry I'm gonna say this right now guys I'm so sorry I haven't been streaming that much lately it's just every day I wake up and I look at Twitter and there are just new hacks out there's like some I don't even know what happened today or yesterday when you're watching this because I was sleeping all day but I saw some crazy stuff on Twitter and honestly it's just really hard to put 12 20 hours into the game a day like I normally do uh, but yeah, also guys, my G Fuel code is 30% off right now. So if you guys have ever been trying to pick up G Fuel, that is 30% off a G Fuel code metaphor. Uh, I do recommend Hype Sauce. I recommend PewDiePie's Flavor and I recommend Sour Face Berry a lot. They're very good. Also, guys, I know a lot of you always ask me how do I get 200 plus FPS. I'm sponsored with Artesian Builds. Link in the description. They hooked me up with a Beast PC and I'm going to be doing a setup tour very soon, probably for 300k. So if you guys are brand new, drop a sub, drop a like on the video if you do enjoy and comment down below what guns you want me to run in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day, guys. Peace. Dude, these buildings always just give you so much money. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sorry, baby cakes. Baby cakes OP. I'm so sorry. Oh, now I have the Sagma. No. What are you guys thoughts about an explosive only gameplay? Hello? I just saw him on the roof of that second building on the left. Hit him from an angle he doesn't expect, and I can get some uh, verticality for the bazooka. This thing had like insane bullet drop. What did I just get hit by? Hello? Dude. Oh no you don't. You must not know who I am. Take that pinata. Alright, let's go baby. We're trying a new build on the SMG.
Busting out the growl. Our old baby. Be advised, UAV is being opened. Be honest. How many of you guys missed the growl? Actually, you know what's crazy? I feel like there's there's a chance that some people who are watching this, like, never even, like, experienced the ground meta. That that's actually something I have like trouble like thinking about sometimes. All right. Make sure our truck is facing the opposite way. So when he peeks us from the window, oh, he's right here. Oh, hell no. He's gonna try to get in that berth after he buys whatever he's buying. Uh oh. Oh, a level 8, no prestige. Cue the VPN comments. I like that. That was a good. Uh, that was a good nade by that guy. I might die here. I like that nade. Alright, we're gonna pull up the truck to the window so we can jump in because he's gonna go in here to heal. you baby hmm hmm well it looks like I'm not getting a double kill making sure not to go through the other building even though we know he's on that side for two reasons one if he's camping the cubby I can't hit him and two I would have to have opened a door Hello. What did you just say to me? No. Wait, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back as a jailbreak. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Oh, let's all play this guy too with Daddy. Screw it, dude. Ooh, outplayed, Sniper Master. Right, let's grab high alert. I definitely, I'm trying out high alert a lot more now that I got changed. Um, I mean, even without getting changed, I talked about this a long time ago on stream. I don't think I ever talked about it on a video, but. I mean, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Anyways, talking about high alert. Uh. I was gonna I was gonna start trying to run it because you know it would let me use a heartbeat sensor because using stuns without restock is pretty bad and I I know that I actually just messed up but I didn't grab a heartbeat sensor but I'm, I've been kind of thinking like you know having the heartbeat plus the high alert would be very useful especially like if someone with ghost does look at me and they're a very bad player um, it'll actually give me time to, to, to do something. You know, if it's a good player with Ghost, I'm gonna die when they look at me. Um, but 
if it's a bad player and you know in solos there are a lot of you know weaker players everyone knows that uh so it'll it'll prevent me from dying to some of those very bad players who would only kill me because they have ghost What did we... Fluffy cake. What were we doing, buddy? Wait, that wasn't my bounty? Night. Meet the Otis. Otis beats the MP5. Let's go, baby. That was a good reach out by me. Also, I knew I knew that he didn't know I daddy because I was really far away, and since he was pushing me, my footsteps that should be there would be getting masked by his footsteps. So I knew a reach out there would make a lot of sense. Uh, because he wouldn't hear me reach outing him until it was too late. Like, if you're pushing somebody up close and they reach out you like that, like that guy was sweaty and I could tell he was sweaty. Um, but if you don't know if, like, someone's going to reach out, you can hear them when they're about to. But with Daddy, like, I knew he wouldn't know that I had Daddy on based off the positioning of the fight and everything like that. So, I made the most of it. Because I could have just ran away knowing I had Daddy and I would have been fine. But I just abused the fact that I knew he would push me because I could tell he was a sweat. And uh, abused the fact that he's a, a better player with my Daddy. Also, for those of you who don't like it when I call people sweaty, um, that's me acknowledging they're good at the game. I do know that people use sweat as an insult, but usually that comes from weaker players. But if someone dies and then they go, oh, that guy was so sweaty, like, or like, oh, careful, you know, careful, dude, that guy's sweaty. Like, they're not insulting that player. They're saying, yo, careful, that guy's actually good at the game. Like, approach it differently. It's, just, it's the same thing as, like, calling somebody a bot. Well, he's probably up top. See the jumps. Well, I can't believe he saw me. I hear that sniper on my left, but I'm just hoping he doesn't see me. Like, imagine, like, you have a loadout with whatever, and then you grab another loadout with, like, tracker and, like, all that stuff. And then you just, you just have perks that you wouldn't normally use. Or, like, it would be more of a reward to get your first loadout. Like, for example, if you grab a loadout in the early game, and then you get a free loadout, like, you would be getting rewarded for it. I mean, you still already do, because usually people go from, like... Overkill to ghost or something, but Darn it, I didn't see him. GG's. I have to throwing knife him. No! I hit him with it! Oh, he just was barely enough HP. No, dude. If I hit him with one more bullet before I died, or before I went down, that actually would have been a kill. Dude, that would have been such an insane play. I'm so sad. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. 
See, the issue with pushing this guy isn't that I don't think I can kill him. Enemy UAV overhead. It's the potential of a third party. Enemy UAV overhead. Yo, someone is literally spending so much money on UAVs right now. If someone's behind me, I'm just dead, but... Alright, this guy got out of the car. Enemy UAV overhead. Third partying this might not have been a bad idea, but I'm too late. If I was gonna third party that, I had to go way earlier. Marking you safe zone. This is a good spot to be in in general, but um, like for this fight, if someone's behind me, I'm dead. But for this fight, this is a good spot to be in. Clustered left, which means he might run right. Okay, it looks like there's two people in this building. This could end up working out for me. Since there's airstrikes going on the left side of it, he might try to leave this side. Since, since he shouldn't know that I'm here. No. Not a shield there, bro. No, oh, not a shielder, bro. I'm pretty much screwed here. I only have my SMG. Called me a what? Dude, I almost beamed him with my growl, low key. Let's go. One more kill. What the hell was that sound? Aim assist! Let's go, baby. Oh. Brought to you by Scuff Gaming. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about.